Good evening and welcome to this ABC 36 News update. I'm Carla Wade. A family of six will be staying somewhere else tonight after a fire in their home on Larkspur Drive in Lexington. We have more from ABC 36's John McGarry. When firefighters arrived at this home on Larkspur Drive a little after 3 o'clock, there wasn't much fire, but as this home video shows, a lot of smoke. It appears right now the fire started in a rear utility room that's accessed from the outside of the house, but um, we're not exactly sure what caused it to this point. The house was occupied. Uh, I think a passerby alerted the people in the house of the fire, and uh, they all got out without injury. That passerby is Red Orberson, who just dropped his son off at a birthday party. Came by and noticed the smoke coming out of Robert's house. Robert and I used to work together, so I uh, was kind of concerned, you know. Saw the smoke coming out, stopped the truck here, called 911 immediately, looking around for a water hose or anything, you know. Found one around back and was t talking to 911 and spraying water. The firefighter says the family who lives here will have to stay elsewhere tonight. But before heading there, Red's former co-worker pauses to show off the equipment to his two-year-old son, who likes fire trucks. That was John McGarry reporting. A man is robbed while trying to deposit a bank bag. The robbery was last night around 9 at a National City Bank off of Nicholasville Road. Police say a masked man approached and then indicated he had a weapon, and then the robber ran away. The victim was not hurt. A bullet goes through a wall and then hits a 14-year-old. Police accuse 25-year-old J.R. Brock of London of firing a gun inside a house. Police say that that bullet grazed 44-year-old Audrey Timmons, went through the wall and then hit the teenager. Both went to the hospital. State police arrested Brock. Bones found along with a missing man's body may never be identified, according to the Pulaski County Coroner. The body was 21-year-old Jeffrey Price. It was found last week off of Strawberry Road. He had been missing since early November. Other bones were found near his remains. The state medical examiner says until a DNA profile can be developed, and the source of those bones will remain a mystery. And if you want to get an H1N1 vaccine in Lexington, it is going to cost you. Yesterday was the last day for free vaccines. The health department had two clinics at Bryan Station High School and Southland Christian Church. Health officials say that these were the last two free clinics, and you can still get shots at the health department. But from now on, you're going to have to pay for them. Thanks for tuning in to this ABC 36 News update. Be sure to check out more stories here online and then join us on TV for ABC 36 News at 11.